pair of skaters, Susan and Jason Dungeon, who faced a stiff challenge <laughs> against two Soviet and one East German pair. <laughs> this competition has been dominated by the Soviets and the East Germans for many years. There has only been one American pair's medal in the history of this competition. So a look at the standings entering the long program. The Soviets, the East Germans, and the Americans in third place. All three pairs close enough to grab a gold medal. And the first to skate, 16-year-old Jason, 13-year-old Susan Dungeon from the United States. Americans Jason and Susan Dungeon from Detroit, Michigan. The Dungeons would wait, and next to skate, the East Germans. 13-year-old Manuela Landgraf, 17-year-old Ingo Starr. More addition. And now it was so close, Jason and Susan knew the Soviet pair would have to make some very serious mistakes for the Americans to catch the silver medal. And as the Americans tinkered with the figures, a very confident Mamalu Landrop watched the Soviet pair. Olga Nipotsnaya, Sergei Hudjakov. So 
silver medal for the Americans Jason and Susan Dungeon. For the Soviets, there would be no gold medal. The final standings in the Paris competition, the East Germans, the Americans, and the Soviets. Each year here at the World Junior Figure Skating Championships, one of the most explosive and competitive events to watch is the ladies' single skating. And this year really is no different. What is different, though, is that this year there's a young talent on the scene that could well revolutionize the sport of figure skating. Her name is Midori Ito. She is from Japan. And at the tender age of 13, she's becoming a national phenomenon. Watching Ito skate brings to mind the name of former world champion, American Elaine Zayak whose athleticism changed the face of women's skating. Ito's jumps and spins are more aggressive than most boys her age. Of late, the men in Ito's life have cameras pressed to their noses, and they follow her everywhere, which is often to the side of one of her coaches, Olympic bronze medalist and American Jim Grogan, who moved here nine months ago to work with the Japanese skating program, which is basically Midori Ito. I've been around skating for about 40 years now, and in all of the Olympics and Worlds and all the countries that I've visited, I have never seen anything like it. It's uh, truly one in a million. Ito's strength is in her short and her long programs. Here in the short program, she received near-perfect scores. question, why isn't she winning this competition? Well, after her compulsory figures, Ito stood 13th, and they count 20%. Compulsory figures can often make or break a champion. There are no crowds to cheer your movements, just a cold arena and a piece of ice. It's the precise movements required to trace a line on one skate and then do it again and again. There are three different figures to skate, and no one has ever received a perfect score in figures. Midori wasn't the only skater hampered by the figures. The American, Catherine Adams, hoped her figures would carry her to a gold medal. You skate, and then you wait. And then you hope. And then skating is replaced by the math done by your mother and your coach. And then you wait some more to trace your next figure. East Germany's Simone Koch, last year's gold medalist. And the figure's over. Adams finds herself in ninth place. Her short program moved her up to seven. So after the compulsory and short programs leading up to the free skating, two East Germans up top. And Kathy Adams knew that if she skated a good long program, she had a chance for a medal. Adams, now 16, who as a child was told to skate by her physician when it was discovered she had poor muscle development in her thighs. here with her mother and her coach. Her father, who never misses practice, has never seen his daughter compete. He says it makes him nervous. His daughter, graceful under pressure, turned in an excellent long program. the likes of Midori Ito to skate soon, Catherine's battle for a medal was not yet over. But next up, the old master, 15-year-old defending champion, Simone Koch from East Germany.
was playing catch-up to Karen Henschke, who had held the lead since the beginning of the competition. quickly for Catherine Adams, it was clear that Simone Koch would not falter. Karen Henschke finished gold and silver. Today, her performance looked good as gold, but there were more to skate. And now, everyone in the arena, along with the national television audience, waited for one skater. Midori Ito. Japanese women have never finished any higher than sixth in this competition. That was two years ago, and it was Ito who did it. Last year, she did not compete because of a broken ankle. American Lane Zayak exploded on the scene three years ago and changed the sport of figure skating with her jumping ability. It is Midori Ito who's already gone one step beyond. She skates to music composed by a Japanese artist and tailor-made to her choreography. Three years ago, a British journalist called her the jumping flea. To her countrymen, she is the future and a chance to bring home the first Olympic or World Championship gold medal in the history of Japan. Kathy Adams, who fought the competition and a week-long stomach virus, there was now no chance to meddle. Gold medalist Karen Henschke, although third in the long program, won the gold medal with the most consistent performance in the competition. Final standings, Henschke, Koch, Ito with the bronze, and Catherine Adams, the American, in fourth. Ekaterina Gorbeva, 12-year-old. Dancer is Sergei Grinkov, 16-year-old. The height is 47 centimeters. 179 centimeters, 132 centimeters. 
たデスパイラルからですねあ初めにこの死の渦巻きデスパイラルを持ってきました綺麗ですねそうですねこの札幌での大会スペアには11組が出場アルサルトを仕上げましたスピードはありますねはいジャンプ別々にですがダブルループジャンプですね,ですね惜しいですね、はい、エカテリーナスゴルフテーバの方が失敗ピンの回転をしたり出してますそれはうまくいきましたですからね、女性のエカテリーナ軽いでしょうね。軽いでしょうね<笑>